Hey guys, this is Igor and I am in my hometown of Hatmavirus and the sun is about to set, so behind me you can see the moon but if we swing over to the other side we have the sun setting, so just in case you thought it was the same thing uh, it's not so let's turn the other way we get better lighting, right? so I want to share with you uh, one of my favorite puzzles, my favorite puzzle. And let's have a look at the starting position. What's going on here? Well, we can see that white has a quite dangerous past pawn, but it's currently attacked by the rook, the rook on g6. Now, incidentally, for years I've had the rook on e6 in the starting position, but it doesn't really matter. And the thing I like about this puzzle is that it's very logical. You can kind of go move by move, use uh, deduction, and find out uh, what should be done. So, without further ado, the pawn on f6 is attacked by the rook. What do we do? Well, I think the first move is obvious. We have to go f7. And that's what we do. Pawn on f7. So now there's a dilemma for black. We have to stop the pawn. But on the other hand, we can't really stop it with our king. Our bishop is useless or see it. So the rook is the only piece that can stop the pawn. The problem, however, with rook to f6 is that white plays bishop to b2, pinning the rook and will queen the pawn. So, what to do? As we climb up this hill here, let's settle down somewhere. <sighs> yeah! Up on the hill. So what to do? Rook a6. Only move. Go check. So now the owner is on white. What to do? If you play king b1. Bishop takes f5. Check. Winning the knight. And now the king can help. King b2. Rook back to f6. And now the move that we uh, had previously, bishop b2, is unavailable because of uh, the king. So black wins. Yeah. So it turns out that the only move is bishop a3. Because we don't have a move of the king. So what to do for black? Again, rook f6, bishop b2 pinning. King can't help, so the only move is rook takes a3. Check. Okay, again, king b1. Bishop takes f5. Check. So what to do? King to b2. Okay. But black, you know, he has some resources. Rook a2. Check. What to do now? Well, king b3, bishop e6. Check. We win the f7 pawn. Okay. Uh, king takes a2 is the same fate. Bishop b6 takes f7. What about uh, king b1? Bishop takes f5. King g7. We already mentioned that actually. But okay. So it turns out we have to go to c1 or c3. Let's try c3 first. Then comes rook c2. Very tricky move. Again, if you take that bishop takes f5 check, the king comes. So we start to try to run up the board. Uh, rook c2 check, let's say, if king d4, we go to the d file, rook d2, and then rook d8, and we stop the pawn. So let's try to zigzag after uh, rook c2, let's go king b4, but nothing happens. Rook b2, king c5, rook c2, let's say king d6, rook uh, d2, and if you go to the seventh, let's say king e7 or king c7, Rook d7 covered by the bishop, and we win the pawn. So king c3 doesn't work, so 
The only thing that remains is uh, King C1. Now Black must actually go Rook A1 check because Rook C2 now fails to King B1, where we find shelter for the king. So Rook A1 must be played, and once again we must stay on the black squares. If we go back to B2, we're just repeating Rook A2. So we try to go through the black squares, King D2, Rook A2 check, King E3, Rook A3 check, King F4, Rook A4 check, and now King G5. Looks like we're escaping, we're going to Queen, but no, one more trick. Rook G4 check. If king takes g4, bishop takes f5. Wonderful stuff. And then the king helps. So, okay, after the rook g4 check, there are two moves, king f6 and king h6. King f6, let's try that first. King f6 is actually rook to g8. And if you take it, king takes. Okay, let's try knight e7. It's almost working. But rook d8, knight g6, king h7. We queen, rook takes, knight takes, it's not enough. But wait a minute, in that line the king could go to h7. Let's go back. Rook g4 check, king goes to h6. We're almost queening. Rook h4 doesn't work. So what about uh, rook g8? Very tricky. If f takes rook, king takes, not enough material, draw. So again we have this move, knight to e7. And now if rook d8, knight g6 is made. But still, one more trick for black, bishop e6. And now if you take on g8, I take with the bishop. But that's also exactly the solution. Bishop takes g6, bishop takes g8, and my g6 checkmate. So from the starting position, we have this amazing checkmate with a knight and only a bishop against it in the corner. The other corner, the, rook started, the king started on a1 and went all the way to h6. And this was all forced, just... Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And this we love. So let's uh, keep on hiking. Where are you going? I don't know. A bit further. And then shower and edit, right? Let's get a board on this uh, bitch. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later. Bye bye. Oh, look at the moon. The moon and the stars and the. Oh, goodbye. Bye bye.